Graham, it's, uh, it's been an amazing series, and, and if you look at it in its whole context, Brisbane, strange game in Adelaide, fought back very well, and here you've, you've been on top. Um, I, I don't suppose you can consciously start a slow-burning effort to win a series, but how do you put it in context? I don't know. I, I, I think it's been a tremendous effort, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I think Brisbane was, even Stevens, um, Adelaide, we were under a massive amount of pressure throughout that game. You know, when Australia got, you know, scored the way they did on day one, you know, for us to be able to scrap and uh, get out of there with a draw showed a tremendous amount of character and determination. I think a lot has been said and written about that effort. I don't think it's appreciated when you come to days like today and you see us taking 10 wickets in a day. You know, I think days like Adelaide certainly mean a lot more. And then coming here, we knew we had a great chance to win the series. I said that before the press conference, if we could get it together. And, you know, we did. Um, day two, for me, you know, got to go down as one of the highlights of South African cricket. Um, with the way we bowled and the way we batted in that evening session to tr take the game sort of away from Australia and then to follow that up with day three. And then today, you know, I think, you know, I, I saw a headline this morning that Australia were a chance to chase 6.30. Um, you know, so to take 10 wickets today and to put our mark uh, firmly down in Australia was, was special. Well, I think I think it probably was a conscious decision because we never told each other to stop. <laughs> um, you know, once it started flowing, I remember hitting Hastings for two fours, and then Hash had, a, had uh, Johnson for two fours the next over, and it kind of just the momentum grew from there. And I don't think once we said to each other, you know, just be careful or don't stop what you're doing. You know, we just sort of went with it. I mean, we I think recognizing that opportunity and being skillful enough to take it, I think was was probably a key factor in that. Um, you know, uh, I know certainly batting with Hash that, uh, you know, he, he has that ability and uh, you could see that glint in his eye and uh, it was great to be a part of. Hash, do you ever get sort of worried about going in that kind of speed? Do you ever sort of worry about developing wheel wobble? Uh, I think there's always a fear uh, that you could go too hard and then get out and suddenly the team's in trouble. But I think at that stage, as, as Graham, you know, as Graham said, we, we were just going to go. Um, I guess it did take a bit of courage uh, from both of us to say, you know, this is the moment. We're just going to uh, go hard for as long as we can, and, and things worked out, yeah. Mm. Graham, do, do you want to say, uh, say something about the bowlers? This test obviously was the, the main occasion in the series where the bowlers really came to life. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think it's... Look, we, it hasn't been the perfect series you know we've had injuries uh, not everything's worked out uh, like England everything went according to plan you know and uh, you can walk yeah we had to scrap and you know adapt um, and uh, our depth uh, was tested which was a great sign to still come through um, and uh, at times we haven't bowled well but um, we certainly hit our straps in this 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 test match I thought we were superb um, we got everything together um, our patterns of play in this test match were, were really good um, everyone uh, performed their role really well so it was, it was great, and that, this is the performance that I've got used to from our guys over the years, and um, uh, it's important not to take it for granted because uh, it, was, it was outstanding. Um, well, what was it, 2005, 2006? Uh, it, it seemed a very long shot to, to be able to achieve that, you know. Um, and right now, I'm extremely humbled. I mean, I, I hope that the people in Australia can respect what we've done and the way we've done it. Um, you know, for us, it certainly means the world. Um, there's still people involved in, in our setup that have taken many beatings on tours of Australia. So, uh, you know, um, we know what, it, what is required to come here and, and be victorious. To have done it twice, it was difficult to put into words, but, um, you know, and when we get on that plane tomorrow night, certainly we'll have a, a really warm feeling uh, that I've been a part of something really incredible and special um, that I've been able to share with, with guys that have uh, put in an immense amount of hard work behind the scenes to, to celebrate these moments. You know.
Yeah, I mean, I, I said, you know, this series was going to be the challenge for us to have give ourselves the opportunity to to maybe lengthen that gap or create that legacy, you know, hopefully that we're all looking to be a part of. You know, it's nice to go home with a six-point gap and uh, to, to go and play in front of our own fans and our home home grounds. You know, it's been a, a long haul away from home, some tough challenges over the last period, and to come through them victorious has been really special. So... Come January 2nd, we're going to be really motivated to, to hopefully take that next step forward against, uh, against New Zealand. Graham, uh, Robin Peterson is almost sort of an embodiment or a testament, you know, to how cricketers can develop, you know, you know through just patience, you know, and um, um, getting a fair amount of first-class experience in the crowd. Um, and he took crucial wickets today. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's easy to just to see, you know, Stark slogging a few out the ground at the end and forget about what an important role Robbie played today. You know, he picked up some key key wickets and it's, you know, I, I knew that he was motivated to do well. Um, you know, yeah, he's been around the squad for a period of time now and, um, you know, sort of come a, come on a long way as a cricketer. I thought the, the 2020 World Cup, he must have been one of our best best performers. Um, and and now to see him do well today, you know, I'm sure for him is, is really special. But for us to to see someone like him develop and, and play a key role in, in a victory, you know, hopefully will give him a lot more confidence going forward also. Can you talk just a bit about the, the character of the side? You mentioned him in the Yeah, I mean... I think we've been there and thereabouts for a period of time. We've just needed a little bit of a step up here and there, and we've managed to get that. Um, you know, I, you know, you, I think it's very difficult to to put into words actually. But if you uh, can see how much it takes to win away from home, if you've travelled to these countries and and performed well, um, you know, it, it takes a, a team effort. It takes not just one or two people to be able to to win series. And I think uh, that's the outstanding thing about our team at the moment is that everyone's contributing, everyone's pulling their weight. You know, the the, the way we're training, the things we're talking about, the, the level on which guys are are living their lives is 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 really good. So um, you know, hopefully that that long may continue. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think for me it was just run of the mill. Really, it was it was something that was needed to be done. Um, you know, for me, having played against Ricky so much and over the years, is certainly the player that I think that I respect most that I've played against as an opponent. Um, just for the intensity and the way he's played the game, um, the runs he scored against us, he's always been so competitive. Um, and uh, I think uh, it was just a, shine, a, a sign of respect from us to someone that's given the game of cricket so much. Um, I think all of us will miss Ricky as an opponent. Um, and uh, hopefully now him and I can catch up uh, on a beer. I'm sure a few of us would love to, to do that. Um, and him and I have got to know each other fairly well over the last few years, you know, whether it's sitting on planes or you know, uh, catching up after series. But um, it would be nice just to have that relaxed nature now and just uh, enjoy some time together. No, I mean, uh, I think it's just, uh, it's nothing really fancy. I think it's just um, just told him uh, that he deserved everything that comes his way um, and he can be proud of what he's achieved. Graham, how have you played against um, both England and Australia in the last few months? How do you see the next series in England going next, next year, the Ashes series? <laughs> um, <laughs> It's obviously a very uh, careful line to tread here in Australia. <laughs> um, I've been asked this question a few times lately, actually. Um, I think uh, the challenge for Australia is going to be winning in England. I think they do play well in their own conditions. Um, they know how to, to win there. Um, and I think uh, being able to adapt and play well in, in England is going to be Australia's challenge. They certainly have the players. So from a mindset point of view, I think that's going to be the challenge. Um, being a home series for England, I'd probably have to say that uh, they, they'll be favourites because it's, it's in England. Ash, sorry to go back to your, your batting Is it just a, well, Is it just a question of hitting the ball into the gaps or when you, when you took, jump to cover and hit a good lane delivery through mid um, was that deliberately calculated to rattle the bowlers? 
You know, I do it once in a while, but Graham does it nearly every ball <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> out there. <laughs> and it's a trouble maker, so I should actually <laughs> take a leaf out of his book, you know. Um, yeah, you know, I, we were just in a good position. Um, and as I said yesterday, you know, one day cricket, you kind of do these things, and I just tried to, to improvise. But, you know, it does put the ball off. I mean, sometimes you're going into his channel and... Um, he might wonder where to bowl the next ball, and if you stand still, he might give you some wood to to carve through to backward point or something. So, yeah, we're just kind of keeping the intensity, and I think that's just kind of happened. Well, certainly the England tour and and this tour uh, are the highlights. Um, you know. The, Getting the 300 was was a highlight, and, and winning that Test match, and just now you know, contributing in in this game is also a highlight. Um, but I think from a team perspective, just the two series wins have been fantastic. At the way we've we've played our cricket, you know, it's been inspiring for my to me. Um, the bowlers have put their work in, and and have pulled out all of games that that we possibly were you know on a knife's edge. Uh, so it's just been a fantastic setup. You know, everything's gone gone very smoothly, but not without the hard work that has gone behind the scenes. Um, so, the, so these two away tours have been, certainly been the highlights for me. No, I think you've asked me this before, and I don't, I don't keep any goals. I don't have, I don't set any goals uh, for any tours, or I like to try and keep. My options open. Um, you never know what the situation may need. Uh, so fortunately, you know, I suppose maybe in a way it helps me a bit in just trying to find new things to do. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't. I don't set any goals, and for, for now it's working. <laughs> I think there's a few innings. This is probably in the early days. Um, you know, I think probably, and you know, we we ended up winning the Test match, but the hundred and the ninety nine at, at Melbourne on Boxing Day. Um, and for me, I think there was a time at the Wanderers where you got runs and the wicket went around all over the shop. So there were there were moments where you know where you thought it was really tough to bat, and he just sort of took the game to you and and played in in a, in a way that I you, you haven't really seen other people play. And I think you know the tempo with which he played the game and. Uh, as a batter, I think uh, as a captain was you know really interesting to try and manage you know um, yeah, no so I mean I wasn't a part of it but I think that World Cup final knock uh, at the Wanderers got a got a rank as as one of the top ones that I've certainly watched. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I mean, it's been outstanding. Um, you know, I think what we've been able to achieve as a team is, you know, uh, I'm sure it'll take a long time for people back home to actually understand in years to come. But, um, you, know, you know, as I say, hopefully it'll continue for a few more years. But, you know, as you sit here, you're extremely proud to be a part of this, certainly the last nine test matches. Um, I think for us to win back-to-back -back series in England and Australia is, is an immense effort. Um, you just have to look back how, how long it took us to do those and, uh, before that and uh, to come here and have done it twice in a row, I think, um, for me, is the proudest uh, achievement of my career. Last night, can I ask, Gary, what you spoke about Charles Hayes when we were discussing Ferrara and other players. Can you maybe just tell us what Jacques was, did he say anything or what he's thinking in terms of, he's obviously still very driven and motivated, but I'm sure for him he's also playing. Yeah, I mean, hopefully he carries on performing. I mean, it's quite incredible, actually, to have him a part of our side. I mean, uh, you know, I think he doesn't really get the respect that he's due. Uh, you know, his performances, everyone else that's up at 13, 14,000 runs doesn't have 280 wickets to their name, you know. So for us, he's like a silent assassin. You know, he goes under the radar, um, but within the side, he's respect. Um, and you know, the way the players feel for him and the performances he puts in is you know, right up there. Um, 
So I think that means the most to him. Um, obviously, all of us would love to see him get his due, but um, hopefully he'll perform at this level for, for a few more years for us if we can keep him on the park. <laughs>